four ALDS in Houston. The Astros leading the Royals two games to one in their best of five series. Let's get right to it. No score in the second. A man on for Salvador Perez facing Lance McCullers. Here's the one two. Swing and a fly ball. Deep into right field. Back goes Springer. It is gone. Salvador Perez hits an opposite field home run to right. And the Royals lead 2 0 in the second inning. Carlos Correa, a swing and a drive to left. And this game is tied. That's a nice feeling for Carlos Correa after getting pulled to the bat before I've been sure to go up there, first pitch, get a fastball out over the plate, not miss it, tie up the score. For a 21 year old kid, we've talked about this all series. This kid has the composure of a 20 year veteran. I don't think Ventura will be going inside of Correa. Into the corner. Springer can run. Gary Pettis is sending him home. Three to two, Houston. Ryan Madsen extracted out of the Kansas City bullpen. Here's Carlos Correa. Great day so far. There goes the runner. There goes Correa. Carlos Correa has completely taken over this game. 21 years old. Now Madsen facing Colby Rasmus. Rasmus follows up. And that one is gone. The only question on Rasmus was it going to stay fair? And you saw it hit the foul pole, the fair pole, the foul pole, whatever you want to call it, to give him a home run and make this crowd go insane. The line keeps moving still. A nightmare situation for an Astros team that had grabbed a 6-2 lead moments earlier. You know you've got two innings left in your life for your season when you're down four and you don't want it to go walk away. You're going to grind, and they are grinding. And now Lorenzo Cain's up with a chance to tie the game. The 1-1 to Cain. Swing and a base hit into left. It'll score at least one. Here's Rios to score easily. And the Royals, as they've done all year long, keep the line moving. It's a three-run lead for Houston. And it's gotten uncomfortable enough for A.J. Hinch to make an immediate move for Tony Sipp. Here's Kendrys Morales now, the switch hitter, batting from the right side. And now Sipp to the belt, end of the plate. Breaking ball, ground ball up the middle. Correa, he misplayed it! The ball goes into center field! Two-run score, and this game is tied! And Carlos Correa, in the blink of an eye, goes from hero to goat. That'll bring up Alex Gordon with the bases loaded in a tie game and only one away. Gordon bounces it to second. Altuve gets to it to get the out of the bag. But the Royals have scored five in the eighth inning, and they lead 7-6. One gone for Fields. Now it's Eric Hosmer. Kansas City in elimination games eight and one in their last nine. Their only loss, game seven of the World Series last year to Madison Bumgarner. A high drive into deep right center. Gomez can only watch it, and that one is gone. Eric Hosmer's last two at bats of this series have been big ones. An RBI single in the eighth, a two run dinger in the ninth. Carlos Gomez represents the last chance for Houston to try to keep this one alive. Gomez lifts a fly ball into shallow right. Orlando makes the catch and Kansas City comes back in game four and the Royals have forced a game five in Kansas City on Tuesday night. Wade Davis with his first career six out save the Royals score seven unanswered runs coming from behind to defeat the Strohs 9-6. KC has now won nine of its last ten playoff games when facing elimination. Carlos Correa becomes the second youngest player in postseason history with two-plus homers in a game. That sets up a dramatic game five in KC on Wednesday. Johnny Cueto going up against Colin McHugh.